It all started with my brother buying a new car and asking me to do a road trip driving his new car back to Chicago. As a sister, of course I said yes. He picked me up from Seattle and we started driving right away. So I made it to Seattle and look at look at what, de what decided to pop up. I'm breaking out, I don't know why. Anyway, it's fine. My brother got a Tesla. We're in Seattle, heading back to Chicago. <laughs> I was really hungry since I didn't eat all morning and it was probably I think around 11, 12 p.m. So we stopped at this cute little place and they had this vegan wrap for me. It was so good. Are you on your Look at that. You're always charging this car all the time. Every stop, we're charging this thing. I really like this wireless charging. Big fan. Big fan, Elon. Big fan. And then we receive a call. A call we weren't expecting. Hold on. I think I'm going uh, through North Dakota. Okay, because I 80. But we're getting a blizzard here in Park City, Utah. Everything went downhill from here. It was hard to believe at first, but then we couldn't see the road lines at all. We decided it would be best to just rest somewhere and wait till tomorrow and see if things clear up a little bit. It's definitely not about it at all. I realize driving and charging a Tesla in the cold isn't ideal and if you can, avoid it at all cost. you see while charging a Tesla. <laughs> then we are back on the road. Oh, sucks. At first the roads didn't seem so bad until we kept driving. Really scary because we couldn't see anything at all at that.
that point we were driving 30 to 40 miles per hour and we kept a distance between the cars. And thank goodness we did because the truck in front of us started to swerve and almost hit us. We had to swerve the opposite direction but it was so close because he started to break and we didn't know and we started to break very very scary i was on a work call some places i had service thank goodness and some places i did not <laughs> Charging again, and usually charging means nap times for me. <laughs> when we get back on the road, this is when we noticed our tire pressure was running really low. We are kind of panicking, trying to figure out why. Um, we ended up finding out that we had a flat tire. Yeah, we also started to see many cars and trucks stuck in the snow, crashed, car parts. It was very, very overwhelming. We finally arrived at our Tesla charging station with 8% battery left. And of course, you think, what could possibly go wrong? The truck in front of us was stuck in snow right in front of our charging stations. I was losing my mind at this point. So this truck is stuck in snow right in front of the Tesla charging stations and we are currently sitting at 8% battery. Tesla problems, right? Another motel, another stay. I look like a mess because this whole trip has been literally a mess. I don't understand how this is happening. Like, I literally feel like this is from a movie. Like, I feel like I'm living a movie right now that I don't want to be in at all. Like, at all. Anyway, um, a lot has happened today. And it's been so stressful. Like, oh, there's so many inconvenient things that have happened today. To me, that makes me feel like, what is going on? Like, it just feels so, like, not real. We are at a motel again because, um, the highways are closed. Literally closed. They blocked them off and it even says right here where we have to go to North Dakota. Yeah, North Dakota. It just sucks because Easter is like this weekend. I don't even know what's going on with that anymore. I'm like having a meltdown. So is he. We're both like not okay. Mentally not okay. Because we also are dealing with a flat tire. This trip I was planning on being back Wednesday and that's obviously not going to happen. Tomorrow's Wednesday. bring a coat. It's snowing. I didn't bring a lot of clothes to change it to. A little update on the trip. It is Wednesday 9.33 and we're still stuck here. The roads are closed. Um, literally can't leave at all. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. At this point, I literally don't know how to express my feelings because I just, I don't know how I'm supposed to feel. I'm trying to feel okay, like everything's going to be fine, like, the, you know, like, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, just something, you know, small little bump in the road kind of thing. I just don't know, I just know how. It's just like knowing that I'm so far away from home. I haven't been eating a lot because of this whole thing. I feel like I've been losing weight. I've probably been eating like 
500 calories a day. I'll keep you guys updated on what's next, but... came from. It's like a two hour drive. It's gonna suck, but two hour drive backwards and then we have to go back down south that way. I feel gross. I didn't bring a lot of clothes. I have so I have this shirt and this hoodie and the pants. I just keep re-wearing and it's disgusting. I feel gross. I didn't want to shower right here because there was hair already in the shower. That wasn't mine, clearly, because I didn't use it. I mean, this place is a shit show, but I just needed a bed. And I slept great both days. Really good. We finally got to leave. Sadly, we have to drive three hours back from what we just went through because we have to go through South Dakota since North Dakota was going to get hit with the blizzard. But it was such a relief. We were so, so happy to finally see clear roads. And the three hours backwards was definitely worth it. So bright that it helped us see the road from far ahead and it was a great night I don't know. I don't know. I'm 
back. Um, it was a crazy trip. I'm very like stressed out. I just got back and I showered. Um, I did my skincare routine. <clears throat> I'm gonna just eat right now because I literally had tacos all day. I barely ate all week. Literally had probably less than a thousand calories a day. Um, it's been just a mess. Barely drink water. I've just been a mess. Um, I'm gonna talk about it more tomorrow. <laughs> I don't really feel good right now to talk about it. I'm just like, I'm still pretty shaken and um, my heart's just like still pounding very fast and I just feel like I have anxiety. <sighs> I'm just so happy to be here like I am. I really am. I just need to relax. It's really hard to relax when my mind is just thinking about the whole thing. <laughs> so I'm gonna come back to you guys and I'm gonna talk to you guys a little later. I'm just gonna give myself mental health day. I'll see you guys tomorrow when I'm crossing my fingers feeling better and not so traumatized by this whole trip. Okay. Bye.